Okay, so let's go ahead and start work on materials. And first, I want to work on our main terrain. Uh, we'll go open material editor, and I'm in advanced material editor. Uh, first, I want to set our base color. And base color will set because this is volcanic island. That's what I was thinking. We'll just create darker black as a main color. We enable use it two colors. You can see it's add a nice mix to this, and we'll just keep it that way. Next, I want to add a little bit sand to the bottom because it's by the water. We'll go to create a new layer. I'm gonna we'll call sand on this one. Let's switch this to natural grain as well, and we'll take first kind of maybe um, sand color one, and the second one will set brighter. So we'll just between mix two of those colors. Uh, on the highlights, actually, I want to take a dual down and none. So it's almost flat color. A bump map, we can go ahead, select uh, procedural. We'll just open select terrain one, just very basic. But on the depth, we point 0 0.3, very, very low, just very basic bump map to that. Okay, on a color, we can play around with the roughness, add a little bit more patchiness to this. Okay, maybe run there. Okay, and important for us to set proper level. So if I take present, and I will have it relative to the C, and we can get down around this area, I think. Okay, and let's add fuzziness to the top. It's kind of nice a range, maybe a little bit lower, a bit more fuzzy. So it's kind of blending a little bit better, like on the beaches. And um, on this one, I maybe don't want to have it a little bit on the side. So I think now this is fine. Yeah, just let's go ahead, leave it like this. And we're going to click preview. So right here you can see our island with some sand. Okay, next we'll go to add a little bit more effect to the mountain itself. We'll go create a new layer. Let's call it grass. So it's positioning. Okay, and in a grass we'll go to color. We'll switch to natural grain and we'll select one kind of deeper green, two colors, and second we'll select maybe a little bit more yellowish green, and run there. Okay, let's go darker here, and a little bit brighter there. So we have a little bit better contrast, I think. Okay, we'll increase roughness, go inside the highlights, and set those highlights too. No, so we don't want any highlights. It's our base base color. Okay, we'll set this as default. We'll go again at present. Be sure it says relative to the C. We want to keep it everything this way. We'll bring up. Uh, not too much up. Just maybe around to the sand. Okay. Um, bottom add fuzziness to the bottom. So they kind of little mixed together. And we'll take remove from the top. around right here and as on the top also edges I want to keep on the edges but a little bit less on the bottom so we'll go remove on the steep so we'll have it open those just slightly edges up so we'll add kind of a little bit to those elements okay um this is one grass. Let's create a new material and we'll call this um, red grass. So just to make a little bit different coloring to that. Again, the colors will go switch to natural green and let's select a little bit more dead color on the grass. Okay, right here we'll add roughness to this. Maybe even more. Okay, let's switch balance, add to the green. 
and let distortion there you go something like this again our highlights we don't need them but on a presence what i want to do it is again relative to the c take from the bottom and cut from the top okay now on the slope range i want to bring kind of almost to the flat areas okay sometimes if we have a hard time to see remember we can always switch to the marker highlighter in this case we can see where is those elements will display so in this case if i can increase i can see where they're going and you know maybe even let's go a little bit higher okay and we'll decrease this and add fuzziness so just in some elements add a little bit more from the coloring okay when we're done with the highlights we can disable and you know what on the color maybe this one you go even reddish so something you can see the element and adding those layers adding those elements which will create uh, for us um, this natural look on our mountains okay on the top top let's say it will be high point and we want to create maybe some snow we'll maybe change from snow depending on how it will go and we'll go natural gray we'll select white and let's another one select kind of white a little bit of blue okay add roughness to this however on the highlights we want actually a bit more on the shiny part to add to this point um, as a present will again relative to the C and we go bring this all the way to the top and we'll add fuzziness to the bottom like this and we'll take and remove a little bit from the flat areas just to a little bit expose some of the um, top peaks so we'll have it okay right here and let's add there you go so this is again this is just the basic setup okay next we're ready to kind of populate with plants but before we'll do this let's go click ok and i want to copy this material and select all of these three other terrains and paste material there because it's relative to the sea you will notice it will apply properly sand and everything and you know what well, let's do this way let's paste this material to our ocean because it will be base and it will just add as a sand look to this okay at this point i will recommend save your works um, and we'll continue to add ecosystem in next tutorial